it is Wednesday, it is recovery day again. We have got our trusty Ross, the Caledonia Harvey, up with us today. We're gonna go for our uh, recovery again, our hot and cold and our deload. So this is our last deload day as well. And just show why it's important to deload and do everything kind of right. The last week's the most important. Um, our diet as well has kind of took a bit step back from carbs. So yeah, we're just gonna go through Step by step. Mm. Yeah, because we have Glasgow Giants live. Oh, sure, yeah, sorry, we have Giants Glasgow live on Saturday. This is why we're doing this. <laughs> Here we go. Wish us luck for tomorrow. Well, we'll hopefully, Tom and myself will take the top spots on the podium. Okay, oh. What are you getting done today, Tom? Uh, you know, actually, I've not been here for nearly three weeks, I think, so Ross is going to have a field day with me. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to be manipulating Luke's shoulder. As he's feeling it really tight in the joint. Oh. So that just creates a bit of movement uh. back into his shoulder joint. And we're just kind of stripping out all the muscles of the shoulder, preparing them for Giants Life this weekend. Looking forward to this next bit. Shut up, Sean. Change the nappy on the baby, you know, their lives go mental. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being there. Uh, I just had a nice relaxing massage here, it was quite nice. Um, I was almost sleeping uh, when Ross was tickling me, so um, shoulders feeling a lot better. Yeah, I'm ready for Giants Life. Here we go. Are you ready, Tommy? Born ready. Not a squeal comes out of me. We are going to be bat on Tom. Um, I've not seen him for a few weeks, so we are going to get stuck in. I on everything out, get him ready for Giants Live on Saturday. Is there anything specific you're working on? Probably just back, hamstrings, checking all the, the kind of usual niggles, shoulders, knees, glutes, everything. You want to have you wince over? Definitely. That's my first time with Ross in a few weeks. Got battered, feel good, feel ready to fight on the weekend. So now we are going to be going to go do some deloads and some hot and cold. Give me mercy. So that was the physio done with Ross. He beat us up. It was nice to see him again. You know, I'm not seeing him for a few weeks, but yeah, so as you guys know, Giants Live Glasgow is on this Saturday and uh, for me, deload week is the most important week of prep, so that is the week of the competition. So what myself and Luke usually do, what Dan does for us and what Nathan does for us is, Dan, we usually train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then with Nathan we go back to a strict diet. So like it's basically back to phase one where we don't have any like extra carbs, extra carb meals before training and stuff. Deloads are very important. Um, I didn't used to believe much in them either. You know, I used to just think, right, I'll uh, rest for a whole week before a competition, but you know, you're not getting uh, blood flow around your muscles, you're not getting them loose, you're just sitting there getting stiff. So basically what we do is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do the same exercises. So as you see today, we're gonna be doing three frees on the, on the squat 120, really light. We're gonna be doing three frees of 100K strict press. We'll be doing some box jumps, then we'll be ending with some core. So we can keep nice and loose, and just so the muscles don't forget how to kind of work. Um, and you don't want doms, 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 <laughs> doms, that's the most important thing. Deloading Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, say your comp Sunday. 
and you've got DOMS Thursday, Friday, that is the worst thing you can do. So it's all about not having DOMS, training smart and just getting your body moving and the blood flowing around your muscles and letting everything kind of rest, but still having them firing. So then you have then, and then on Thursday, Friday, we have a complete rest. We're going to be doing the hot and cold. The extreme cold tab is brutal. And look at this, man. It's a glorious day here. I'm sweating. It's like the Caribbean. And uh, yeah, we are ready. I'm in the gym here. Luke's not quite here yet. He's eating his food and doing other things. I don't know. So I'm going to start without him. But it's not too bad because, like I said, we're only going up to 120 on the squat today. So you'll see us kind of. It'll be quite fast, the sets won't take too long, the breaks won't take too long, well if Luke comes before I'm finished, and then, like I said, three exercises, take about 20 minutes to do, and then boom, job done. So, we're going to start with a squat, 60k, maybe three or four reps, put 100 on, three or four reps, and then 120, and we'll start straight away. So this is my top set today, 120 kilograms, three sets of three, and then squats is done for a week or so. Because you miss Europe, so is there anything you miss the most when competing? Yeah, I mean, if I'm so totally honest with you, COVID was the best thing that's happened to me. That's kind of a weird thing to say because obviously, you know, people that are getting COVID is, are kind of getting hit hard of it and stuff. Obviously me and Sinead had it, everybody knows that. It got my mindset back to strongman being first and then like Rangers and football, night outs, etc, etc, being like second, third, fourth, whatever it is. So it's got me then reversed. So like seeing, watching Europe from home, it was very annoying because I had prepped good for it. And then when you watch it on a live stream, I was like this, shaking, getting angry. Um, so I was getting my anger back, which I had at Worlds. I was getting my mind focused that I had at Worlds. So then, you know, as soon as I got out of uh, the lockdown, my mind was then focused on like, Rangers are getting pushed to the side, going out with friends and stuff's getting pushed to the side and it's proper recovery, proper training. And I got the first week back after COVID was, like the best week of training I've had since Worlds and you know I've put on weight, I've got bigger, I've actual recovery. When I say rest days, I'm actually doing rest days instead of like for example, you know, there was a Rangers game on last weekend. I didn't go to it because I you know I knew I had to recover. It was hard because obviously winning World Strongs man, pinnacle of the sport, <laughs> I was enjoying myself a bit too much. People were getting worried, but now I'm back onto the track of like, right, this is my job, you know. I've got three more competitions to do this year and I know that if I'm 100%, nobody in the world can beat me because I'm the world's strongest man. And if I do what I did at World's Strongest Man, I can do that for the next three competitions. Uh, I think I'll blow everyone out the water. And that's the plan, you know, it's only another five weeks, four weeks of it. And then I can kind of chill out for a month and then re-prep again. But yeah, I think COVID for me, obviously I've got no spells still, guys. Simon, that stinks, hey! I had to cook my own meals. I had to get food in, so I was getting back to that kind of mindset of, you know, how a strong man should live instead of just being like, right, Saturday's here, we're going to go out. Missing Europe was gutting, but it's got me angry and fueled the fire for Glasgow this weekend, 100%. And do you think uh, Luke winning Europe has pushed you to become stronger as well? Yeah, I mean, Luke winning Europe has kind of gave me a positive effect, you know, like obviously me becoming world's strongest man, Luke becoming Europe's strongest man, two of probably the biggest titles in the sport. And they're both here in the garden, you know, with brothers, etc., etc. But uh, I always want to push Luke. Luke always wants to push me. So I think now because Luke's won a title and a very big title of that, he's got confidence, and you can see that. And that's I thrive off his confidence. He thrives off my confidence. So like, that's what exactly we did at World Strongest Man. You know, we were thriving off each other. So if we can keep that going for like these single day shows for the Rogue Invitational, then we're going to be a force to reckon with. But I think that we're both in a positive mindset and both kind of up for it. You know, it'll be a very good kind of positive vibes. That's why I was so looking forward to Europe's because the mindset Luke had there was like what he had at Worlds. And I was ready to, you know, do that as well. So it'd have been a very good kind of vibe we would have had with each other. I think we would have scared a lot of the other athletes as well, so. Squats over with. That's getting the fast twitch muscles firing in the legs. Now we're doing nice, easy strip press. 
three sets of three, 100 kilograms to get the shoulders, triceps and all the upper body stuff firing. So we'll have a wee warm up and then we'll go straight in. press done as you can see it was quite fast it's also hard for us self and look and other athletes because you know 100k is light and you kind of get aggressive and want to be like well I want to put more weight on I want to put more weight on but that's how you want to feel you want to feel like you can lift more you want to feel angry you want to feel aggressive if you're going in feeling a wee uh, granny you know just <laughs> going home for a cup of tea that's what you want to feel like anyway but yeah so it's good to feel aggressive you feel angry that's all the barbell work done for today next up it's just box jumps we're going to use a bench in this one again get the explosive muscles firing and then we're going to finish with abs <laughs> Guys. Oh, yeah. I had to get my hair cut. I was going to look semi decent for Glasgow. It's their first Giants Live in Scotland, so I'm going to go for a little sunbed later on. Just going to finish off my deload session, and then Tom and I are going to jump in the, the cold tub and the hot tub uh, recovery session together. So we've got three rounds, um, three minutes in each, and then that is our prep pretty much done. I'll probably do a little bit more tomorrow in the cold tub, um, just because I like it. Um, Ice Baths is the company that make the cold tubs. Thank you very much again, Luke, for sending them up to us. It's amazing. Are you a Luke? Did I send it to myself? Did I make a company? All right, guys, box jumps done. Last but not least, we have hollow holds for 30 seconds. So. Nice and easy on the core, baby. Right guys, deload is complete. No more training now till the event on Saturday. We're gonna go do some hot and cold, join back up with Luke and get our balls wet. Bro, <laughs> you can't say that lower. Yeah, we're gonna go do some hot and cold. Stay tuned. We've got the cold tub. So we're in three minutes in the cold tub and three minutes in the hot tub. The new cold tub is from the ice bath company, um, which we said, big shout out to them for kind of sending it up and installing it for us. It really is. It's probably the coldest thing we've been in. It just keeps a constant flow all the time. Um, yeah, it's, it's banging. So I'm excited for that. Three minutes, three rounds. Tom, are you starting on the cold first? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, Mate, it's like the Caribbean in here, man. Jesse's everybody. That... I love it. There's a bottle of Bucky and an MV2020 and I would be rocking it in here, baby. Give me a hot air! Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The benefits of the hot and then the cold or vice versa is the, the cold basically shuts shuts off the blood supply and then when you go in the hot, it kind of reopens again and flushes new blood. We're supposed to um, encourage new blood supply to, to your body or through your body. Um, that's the kind of physical aspect. And with, with the cold tub there, because there's a constant flow, sometimes if you're sat in still water, i.e. a lock, um, or the plunge pool without a current, um, the hairs in your arms, the hairs in your body can act as a wetsuit. Um, but the benefit with this is because it's constantly flowing, that doesn't happen, so you actually get the real cold feeling. The mental aspect, we've talked a lot about that. Um, it really does, after you go in there, you just feel completely relaxed switched off 
um, your mind's reset, you, you know, you're, you know, what I like about it is I know we're doing everything we can to recover. All we have to do as athletes is tick off all these little things and that's what we're doing today is this recovery aspect. So we saw Neil Rooney, the natural health practitioner, we saw Ross, Caledonia Sports Clinic, then the hot and cold for us and then our deload session and then our diets, we just got our diets through from Nathan, who's a nutritionist. So it's all these things that all we have to do is tick off these boxes and then we'll be at our optimum uh, come Glasgow, come Compte. So in, the, in this tab, the cold tab, so we've got the cooling unit um, in the front there. So there's an inlet and an outlet, so basically the water gets taken in through the cooling system. And then I don't know if you can see the black, this black thing here, that's, uh, that's the inlet back into here, the outlet. Um, so it puts water back through here, so it's at five degrees all the time. So it's kind of firing at your vital organs, your kind of um, heart and lungs and kidneys. It's really getting a proper um, blast of the cold water, so it's just constant, which is, I think that's what makes it so effective. One of the best recovery aspects or re recovery tools you can have. Fact. Was it? That's good. Tom Daly. Oh. I just dived in the pool, baby. Is that a ten out of ten for synchronization? Thank you, guys. So warm, wow. How does this compare to your old cold tub, mate? Uh, it doesn't get slimy, doesn't get dirty, and it's easier to uh, maintain. It blows the other one out of the water, to be honest. This is freezing. It's done. This stays at five degrees uh, all year round, unless you obviously put the setting up to six or seven, whereas that cold tub as well, since it's black, it absorbs the heat as well. So, you know, it heats up like 14, 15 degrees, and it's quite hot. So, this is so much better. So much cleaner, not slimy, so enjoyable as well. Look. Right guys, so that is deload day, deload week. <coughs> Come to an end, our last hot and cold session for me. Uh, and probably you as well, you might do one more, but yeah. yeah. Uh, so now it's just kind of chilling out, not wasting any energy, doing as little as we can for the next three days, which is I'm very good at doing that. <laughs> so it's no, uh, no issue for me and just getting our mind into that place, ready for Saturday. There might be something big really, or really big happening with us. Little collab on the horizon. Can anyone guess who it might be with? If you can, comment below. Um, it's going to be epic, yeah. It's going to be probably the biggest collab to date, I think. I'm um, really excited, so. Yeah, comment below, guess who it is. Thanks for all the messages, thanks for all the support. Hi, is that KSI? Watch this get fat in the next few days, and please. Stay safe, please smile, and please stay spicy. And pretty please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling.